Hi, this is Branston, and I wanted to make a really quick video to show you how to get a decent chunk of damage out of a Relic 8 Admiral Piet and a Relic 8 Han Solo in the Speeder Bike Pursuit Raid. It is one of the few teams where I think there's actually a benefit to running it on manual instead of on auto. And I want to talk a little bit about the stats before we get into the, the characters themselves. Uh, the only stats I really care about are speed, because that's going to decide how many turns we take. Um, and then if you look at, at accuracy, that's for side swipe. We don't care about that for this run. Critical avoidance, timber, we don't care about that for this run. Uh, critical chance, we kind of do care about, but we're not going to go out of our way to improve it. But um, basically, the higher, the higher the critical chance, the more likely you are to reduce an ally's cooldowns. And when an ally's cooldowns are reduced, if they have enough critical damage, they will gain turn meter, and, and we care about taking as many turns as possible. So we need to get our critical damage up to the point where we're gaining turn meter whenever whenever we hit this, this percentage chance from critical chance. Now, we're not going to use a critical damage set, so we're stuck with just using triangles, which for Piet and Han is going to have Piet in the 180 to 199% bracket, and Han in the 200 to 219% bracket. I see some things talking about attack damage. Um, the way Piet's mechanics work, we're going to be not really using as attack damage, more using the stacks of evasion that we build up. So I think the investment required to get above 10,000 attack, they're both going to comfortably sit above 6,000. But the, the investment required to get above 10,000 attack, I don't think is worth it for the extra four stacks of damage that we are going to be removing. The last one is because the mechanic is built around having stacks of evasion. Um, tenacity is incredibly beneficial here because it means that when you do successfully evade, you consume less stacks of evasion, which means you keep more stacks of evasion, which keeps Piet's damage high. So let's go look at our characters really quick. You can see they're both relegate. Um, if we look at Piet's stats, he is quite quick. Um, I don't have the best mods in the world, but I, I put all of my fasted mods on Piet for this. Um, he has 350 speed, so he's going to take a lot of turns. His critical damage, as we mentioned earlier, is above that 180% threshold. Um, and his tenacity is above 80%. So he will he will be losing four less stacks of evasion if he dodges. It's actually less important on him than it is on Han. Um, because Piet will actually get rid of all of his own stacks of evasion every time he does it. See, the damage is comfortably above 6,000. Uh, but we probably don't want it to be... We don't want to invest enough to get it above 10,000. Um, and his damage... Uh, it, to get the extra four, it's just not worth it. Um, so, now we look at Han, and there is a mistake here because he has the wrong arrow on at the moment. I saved the wrong mod set, and you'll kind of see why in a second. Um, his speed is 319, so not as fast. Um, oh, actually, I've, I've swapped the arrow over. So he now has 82% tenacity. That's because I had to swap him to this, this speed arrow which has 5% tenacity on it. He was below 80%, and I really wanted him I really wanted him to be above 80%. Um, he's 210% crit damage, and he is ready to go, so let's jump in. Um, as I said earlier, I think this is one of the few times when I really think it's worth running out on manual. Um, you'll get a lot more. Don't mind the ads. I had to, had to run this on the, the web version of Bluestack uh, as the, the app version was, was struggling. So let me close that. So the way this works, uh, we'll take Han's first shot. The way this works is that, where is it? Here it is. The Imperial Trooper mechanic is whenever they use a basic attack, they remove bonus stacks of damage equal to the number of stacks of evade on all allies. And then this character loses all stacks of evade. So the goal at the start is to build up some stacks of evade. So you'll notice when I use that on Piet, both gain four. When I use that on Han, both gain four. The difference is, when I attack with Piet, he's going to lose it, but he's going to do 16 extra damage. So you can see that went down from 84 to 48. So he did 36 damage. And this is why this is why the extra four that we would get from having the offense is just not really worth it. We don't use this middle special, which gets stacks of jam. Uh, we don't want to... We don't want to end up with with lower difficulty enemies. We want as many of the most difficult enemies as we can get. Because by the time we build up stacks of evasion, Piet is going to chew through them. So we're going to keep working on him. 
Um, you'll notice this time he's not going to do 16 extra damage. He's only going to do 8 extra damage because his own stacks of evasion are gone. So it's going to leave him on 4. And now I could finish this guy off, but all I really care about for these first couple of waves is building up as much evasion as possible. And the advantage here for Han is he can finish off the low damage ones and his stacks of evasion are not going to go away. So then, this is at 100 damage. Piet hits, he's going to do 24 extra damage. So he did 44 damage. You can see this is going to keep increasing. And the other advantage is every time Han attacks, Piet recovers 2 health. And Han recovers 2 health, but he gets it to shield. So even if they focus on Piet early, you should be okay. I could, again, I could finish this off, but we're just trying to build up as much stacks of evasion as possible. You might be thinking, well, hang on a minute. Why are you doing that on Piet? His are going to go away. Remember, every time we use it on Piet, Han gains extra stacks. You'll notice that Han lost some of his stacks because he dodged an attack. That's where the tenacity comes in. He lost less than he would have. In fact, he lost four less stacks than he usually would have. So we keep going. And the fight kind of continues like this. We, we ignore the middle special. And we just keep building up. Building up stacks of evade. Building up stacks of evade. Throwing basics. Throwing basics. Building up stacks of evade. Now here, I, I want to attack this one with Han, because attacking him with Piet is overkill. Uh, Piet's going to do 25 extra damage at this point, so attacking that character with Piet is, is not going to be beneficial. You'll kind of waste the bonus damage you'll get from Piet. So we're still going. Keep basicing. Don't use the middle ability. And now, once we get to this next wave, and this Shadow Scout Trooper shows up, once we get to this Shadow Scout Trooper, this is kind of where I stop using the the stacks of evade on Piet because he now has 200 damage. That's a lot to chew through. But by this point, Piet is doing 29 extra with each attack. So you can see he went from 184 down to 135. That's a lot of damage. Piet attacks again. Han still uses it every time. So now next time, this is going to be 37 extra damage for Piet. And now I'm actually going to switch over because, again, you kind of overkill. There's only 18. Han can do that with two shots. And so I'd rather get the, I'd rather get the big hits in on the other guy. And then raise up the evade. This is Piet again, so we're going to attack this guy. See, 50, casual 50 damage. And so already... This is kind of similar to the score that you would get if you ran this team on auto. So we basic with Piet. Knocks him down. Continue to go. Stacks of evade from Han. Strike with Piet. And it was a little bit unlucky at the start that we had Han lose those those stacks of evasion by dodging in a kind of in a weird twist of fate. We really don't want him to ever dodge, um, because that costs him stacks of evade. And if you think about it, every single time Piet attacks, then those stacks of evade that Han lost, that's damage that Piet is not dealing. It's up to one point five million, and you'll see the enrage percentage here. It's coming up to eighty percent. Uh, this is Han, so I'm going to use his ability. So I'm hitting for 62 at the moment, which is a little bit lower than I would than I would usually like. Um, in an ideal world, I would probably be hitting for about 80 by now. And there's a decent chance that Piet dies soon. But we have gotten up to 1.8 million already, so I guess even if Piet dies soon, it's kind of it's kind of not the end of the world. We've sort of we've already done the damage we need to do, basically. So this is Enrage. You'll notice that Enrage, all stacks, all stacks disappear, right? All stacks of it disappear, and so our trick for doing extra damage is is now gone, right? We're not going to do the extra damage anymore. Um, so we just keep going until we die. There we go, 1.989 million. Um, it's a little bit disappointing for having put the mods on there. 
Um, but it does give you a pretty good idea. You can get one this. You can get this kind of score very easily with n realistically no remodding, as long as your characters have decent mods. Which I assume they will in Piet's case because he's a pilot. Um, I think it's hard to for the Falcon. If you want to finish now, absolutely do. Um, I'm going to stay on for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to try another run with a little bit less commentary, so I can go quick, a little bit quicker, uh, and see if I can get a more sensible run. That doesn't involve that early dodge from Han. That early dodge from Han was kind of devastating. Um, and that is going to happen. It's probably not worth your time to redo this and fish for like a killer run if you have if you have a run that's up around that's up around two million. You're probably good to go. Um, but for this purposes, I really wanna I really want to kind of show you what it looks like. Um when Piet goes goes firing on all cylinders. So remember, no middle, no middle ability. At the start of the fight, I'm still spamming evade with Piet. Well, I'll stop later as soon as the Shadow Scout troopers show up. So we're still going. Hit Piet. Please hit Piet. Don't hit Han. And especially how don't have Han dodge. That'll be a disaster. So we're still up in the number of stacks of evade. So right now I've got 40 already. Um so you can see that's a lot of damage that Piet did there. Uh, I'm going to swap over to the other side just because I don't want to waste his extra damage when Han can finish this in a couple of shots. Like I said last time, eh, Han dodged. Great. Kind of disappointing. It is what it is. Uh, Han could finish that guy in a couple of shots. Maybe that in itself was reason enough that I should have killed him. Uh, but we keep going. And now the Dark Scout Trooper comes in. And so now I just focus on Han building up his stacks and Piet blasting away. If I was if I was trying extra specially hard, uh, I could start trying to calculate how much damage Piet is going to do and try and figure out when exactly I want to swap and splitting damage between the two. But I tend to just eyeball it, and once he gets down low enough, I know that I know the Han can finish him, and that's when I switch over with Piet. And hit the other trooper. Um, if this happens, <laughs> we can't tell who's going next. Remember, you can always look over here so we see this is Piat. Blast over there for 57, which lets me finish off over here. And there's my ad again from online blue stacks. Uh, the app version of Bluestacks did did not like this raid for me. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. This is going to put him very low. There we go. And I could have finished him off with Han, but get the stacks of Evade up instead. I don't want to waste... He has damage on two stacks of damage. That would seem very silly. And here, this is a little bit of an unusual case. I'm going to take the 1% and I'm going to, I'm going to add the stacks of evade so that when the next wave comes in, uh, Piet hits first. That's, that's really the only reason. Um, it's functionally the same because my choices there were to have Piet hit him, and then Han use evasion. But instead, I chose to have Piet use evasion and Han hit him, uh, so that Piet goes first for the next wave. That's not going to come up very often. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference. And you can kind of see now, Piet is just absolutely munching through the Imperial soldiers. Enrage is up to 89%, so we'll finish this wave. And ideally... The goal is to finish this wave, which is going to put us, is going to put us at the uh, roughly the two million, and then we want to kill one of the people in the next wave. Um, we might not get to. It's going to be very close again because Han had that early dodge. What we really need here is to for Piet to get to attack twice, but I don't think he's going to before we lose the stacks. Oh, he is. There we go. And so now, hopefully, we can finish off. Kind of scrape through this 33. We're not going to. But we got above 2 million. So again, like I said, not worth it. Um, 
but you do get to see how it works and hopefully this helps.